Okay, plumbers, um, here I want to show you the threading machine. This one here is my favorite, my trusty Rigid 300. We have a similar one in the shop. We have a couple of these that we used for grooving, remember? And we have the bigger 500s that we use for threading. This 300 is great, it's portable, it, it, it folds out, and you can put uh, the, the threading dies on it, you can put the grooving dies on it, and uh, it works great okay I'm gonna show you basically how we use it I'm gonna point out a couple things first we have a cutter we have a threader we have a reamer we have an oiler okay now this this die head is the rigid 811a okay if you look here on the dies they're written on top, half to three quarter MPT. So, so with this head, with these dies, we can make the threads for a half inch and three quarter inch pipe. Okay. What I have here, it's a little older, but it's also an 811A. It fits on that machine also. But if you look up here, it says one to two MPT. So with this die head and these dies, you can cut threads from one to two inch pipe. So that's one inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, and two inch. The main difference, if you look here, the threads here, compared to the threads here, these ones half to three quarters much shorter. These ones are longer, obviously, because the pitch is different. Okay, but the threads are the same and you cut them the same way. Okay. So basically how, how we do this, we're gonna bring some three quarter pipe. Because it's relatively long, you put the pipe in the back of the machine, you stand in the back for some support. You bring it through, we call them the jaws, okay. There's, there's a bunch of teeth in here. Okay, there's a bunch of teeth in there that will grab the pipe. So you tighten it good. And in the back here we have another chuck. That's really just for, you know, balancing the pipe. Okay, so we got the pipe in there nice and tight. Now we're ready to go. Okay, I'm going to show you a quick way, quick way what we do to measure. Okay. Let's say I want to cut an inch off of this. This is how we do it in the, in the trade all the time. Take our tape, put a little bit of dope on the end. Use our thumb. We mark it one inch. That's where we cut it. Clean the dope off your tape. Okay, so it's, so it's not sloppy messy. So you bring the cutter down. You put it on the mark. Close it up a bit. And then I'm gonna start turning and I'm gonna start I'm gonna start cranking it. Usually we go the, the machine spins pretty quick, you'll see. We keep cranking, you know, four or five turns and should come off, okay? Here we go. That's it. Here's your piece. Oh, a little less than one. Okay. Now, threading. So remember, for every thread we got a first we got a ream thread, and then clean. Okay. So we got our reamer. I'm gonna ream it. Remember, we gotta take we gotta take this lip off. Because it's cut, it's kind of squished. It's got a lip in here, okay? This lip is a resistance to flow. We gotta get rid of it, okay? Especially if you're working on natural gas. 100% always for sure, you have to do it. And even if you're working on steam, whatever, sprinklers, you always gotta ream it so there's no resistance to flow, okay? Clean it up a bit. Okay, if you noticed, 
nicely reamed. There's no edge in there anymore. Okay, so now we're going to thread it. This die head is open and it closes. So you, let's say, disengage it to, to clean it and to take the dies off when you finish your thread. But when you start, it's got to be closed. Because it's on a taper, if you look here, these threads are very small here and it'll grab the pipe. Okay, let's go. You start a couple threads and then it pulls in by itself. You gotta oil it. You want it to give you some uh, lubrication to cut and to keep it cool. But if you don't use oil, you're gonna burn out your pipe, burn out your threads, okay? Now notice where I stopped there. I stopped one thread past the edge. That's a good thread. Okay, the last thing we do is clean it up. Okay, now this machine is just set up. I don't know if my threads are good or not. So we gotta check it. When you're checking threads, use a T. Reason being is it goes straight through. If you use a 90, there's a bend here and there's a potential that your threads go too far and can, can get damaged and give you a wrong reading. Okay? So remember how I showed you with the, with the factory nipple? You wanna get about three turns. That's a good thread, okay? Let's see what we got here. Well, they seem tight. Okay, I didn't even get one. Okay, so my threads are way off. So what I want to do on the die head, I want to make my threads tighter. So to make the threads tighter, if you can see here, this line is connected to the inside of the, of the die head. And this line here, where it says number two, that's kind of where you can move your adjustment towards. If you look a little closer, you got a three quarter and a half mark. So when you're using three quarter to half threads, sorry, three quarter to half dies, you're gonna use these two lines as your engagement, okay? If you're using one to two dies, you're gonna use this for two inch, this for inch and a half, this for inch and a quarter, and that for one inch, okay? But since we got a three quarter pipe, we're gonna use this line for a three quarter. So what you gotta do is you gotta close your dies so the rated thread, you loosen it off the adjuster and you move it ever so slightly, let's say up to the line, where where's the three quarter line, okay? We're gonna try it now, okay? These threads are already made. The pipes have been squished a little bit. So to check, and to use, we got to cut this off and we'll make a new thread, okay? So we open it, open the back, pull it ahead a little bit, lock it in, close it up. I just want to cut the threads off, okay? Open your cutter, now we're going to cut it. Okay, next step is reaming. Now we're going to thread. Okay, my rag's falling apart, but that's that's how we do it. Now, check the threads. Okay, we're on. So, one, 
two, almost three. One, two. Uh, let's let's call that three. It's, it's a tiny bit tight, but to get that little extra depth is not so easy. So we're gonna go with this, okay? Threads will be fine, okay? And uh, that's it for now. Now the next next step is gonna be put the fittings on the pipe. All right, great.